It sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors, once again, search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across the Hey guys, my name is Sabrina and I will be doing a let's play of Clock Tower for the PS1. Um, this is a direct sequel to the first Clock Tower <clears throat> from the SNES and yeah, this is my first let's play and a blind run. I've only played 15, 20, okay we don't need to see that again. We don't need to see that again. Um, I've only played 15-20 minutes tops of this. Didn't really get much of anywhere, so I'm still pretty clueless to what's going on. So, no spoilers, please. And... Hopefully the video and audio is going well. And... I think that's it. So... Let's begin. <laughs> this is totally normal, by the way. For those who haven't played this before. When I first played this, I was like, uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. But, yeah. It's part of the game. Really weird. Professor Bart. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. You're screwing up with my video too. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are a fascinating research material for me. Awkward voice acting. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. <laughs> All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. <laughs> All right. As you can see, this is a point-and-click game. Um like the SNES version, so yay, cooking action, we're gonna get a lot of it. Hmm, there's a faint smell of ammonia. Alright. Let's check out these scissors. A giant pair of scissors. They are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Alright. Uh, let's check out this bed. The Clock Tower Murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. Okay, I'm going to turn off the lights. Just a light switch. Okay. It's just a light switch, guys. My laboratory. 
Lately I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm, the staff is still here. Um, I think it's because they work here. I mean, I'm just taking a guess there. A statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Alright. This chick is looking at you. I think she wants to talk to you. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. Hmm. Yeah, so... You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Uh, yes. Yes, you're right. Well, not really. But you know, whatever. I wish I had a cute kid sister. A cute... Bleh, wow, I can't read. Okay. A cute kid brother, too. I mean, would be okay, too. Okay, I think the official voice acting is better than mine. Um, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Blah, blah, blah. Cute kid sister. Cute kid brother. Let's... Is that a kitty? A stuffed animal. Looks like a... Uh, blah. Right. Looks like a prize won at a fair. Okay, let's check out this mask. Scissor Man's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops, and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Yeah, well, it happens. Okay, let's talk to this dude then. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Hmm, I guess they wanted to sensationalize the scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Scissor man, it'd be cool if you were real. Wow, really? Yeah, like that's exactly. Or, uh, um, just a joke. You're stupid, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. There's still something I need to do in here. What? Uh, okay, did I check this thing out? Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Hmm, is that it? Okay, cool. You're in my way, sir. Oh, Professor. Oh, Terrace. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. 